anyway, so we picked up this old beat up tired 7.3 turbo for next to nothing. We're gonna be doing a cooling system pressure test and a compression test. See what it's gonna take to get this thing back. It's pretty rough, all the wiring's been hacked together. I mean, or just hacked out. It's real good. And I do know, uh, it's hard to see, but under this exhaust manifold where that freeze plug is, there's a big glob of RTV. So hopefully it's just a freeze plug and we don't have a crack block under there, but we're gonna find out. So first thing you're gonna do if you're doing a compression test on one of these is get all the glow plugs out. That way the engine spins freely and easily and you gotta get your compression tester in there anyway. So let me get these out and we'll do the test. All right, we got all the glow plugs out. I'm gonna do the compression test here in a minute. I pulled the turbo to make my life easier. Uh, if you go to pull it, obviously you got the four bolts on the flange. Two of them you can get to from underneath, at least on this truck I could, made it a little easier. These two I just struggled through the wrench. Uh, you got the V-band on the downpipe, which is out. You've got, of course, the intake tube and then this little intake tornado and you also have the drain bracket right here that's got two bolts in it as well that needs to come off of the back of the intake and then the turbo will come right up all right we're about ready to do the compression test we got the tester in the first cylinder we're going to do here uh, the truck's in neutral if you're doing this make sure you disconnect the fuel at the solenoid or pull your fuel pump fuse if you're doing it on another vehicle you don't want this thing starting while you're doing this uh, i don't have to worry about it here because you know nothing is here anymore so let me see if I can do this one-handed I want it to spin about five six seven times something like that you'll see the needle pump that's the idea anyway so let me see if I can do this first one and then I'll get reset show you a couple more <laughs> actually better than I was expecting for this old tired thing so we'll do the rest of them I'll show you a couple more you don't want any cylinder to be you know you want them all to be about 10 15 percent within each other if you got one outlier you, that, that way you know you got a problem so let me get reset and we'll show you a couple more all right about to do the second one I'm just jumping the starter relay over here to turn it over so let's see what we got on the second cylinder <laughs> out the rest of these i'll show you all the numbers and see what we get compression test is done on the old tired idi i'm done working on this for the day being in florida in the summer sucks the fender of this truck's 150 degrees so that's good and here's our numbers 280 240 90 180 350 300 250 and 400 number eight we're not going to worry about too much there's a little bit of oil in that cylinder so I don't need that reading anyway to know the engine's a little hurt. That's incredibly low. That's pretty low too. It could be the rings are stuck. It's been sitting for a while. It's borderline abandoned when we got it. And you know, you could probably drive it. The rings might come back around, but she's old and tired. We'll probably just pull it out and rebuild it. So stay tuned for that video.